Hi everyone, this is ECU Boot and for today's videos, we're going to show you a problem with our exhaust systems on the BMW 325i E46 using the M54 engine. After running a quick scan, as you can see, we're having a P0420 DTC on our scanner, which related to the catalyst system efficiency on bank 1. And even though this is a straight inline 6 engine, it's divided into two banks. The first three cylinders is bank 1 and the rest is bank 2. Each bank is containing two oxygen sensors, one in the front and one in the back of our catalytic converter. So that means we're having four of them. To be more specific, when you start the car in the morning, this problem is happening and there's a check engine light on the instrument panel. But after a while, the issue is suddenly disappear. So let's go ahead and diagnose this symptom. As I mentioned earlier, this M54 engine is having 4 oxygen sensors in total. For your information, these are narrow type of sensors and each one has 4 wires. They measure the residual oxygen in the exhaust gas and send corresponding voltage value to the control unit. Moreover, this engine also has a secondary air pump to allow more fresh air directly into the exhaust manifold to ensure the catalytic converter heats up at faster rate the oxygen sensor must be hot about 400 degrees celsius before it will start to generate a voltage signal and at this point we cannot conclude anything yet but we can consider two options either the oxygen sensor aren't working properly or our secondary air pump has a malfunction with that being said we're gonna test these two privilege as you can see in the wiring diagram, we can notice that there is a secondary air pump and a switch over valve. The pump is activated by the DME through a relay. Up ahead are three fuse carriers which act like a current source for this system. And the switch over valve uses power 87 and receives ground from our DME for alternative operations. Now, by using ISDA, we can go to the ECU functions and take a look at the live data of our oxygen sensor as well as the voltage signal sending back to the DME. Now, we're gonna see whether this had many, any difference. As you can see, when the engine is starting, the operation of the secondary air injections and air switch over valve must be highest. At this point, our oxygen sensors are not heated enough to work so the voltage output remains 0.42 volt. And after checking our oxygen sensor, we're gonna trigger the air pump to see if it's working properly. According to our SDA, the activation only lasts for 20 seconds and we do not repeat for more than 2 minutes. With that being said, let's trigger our component. As you can see, this is our secondary air pump and a switch over valve to control the fresh air flowing into our exhaust manifold. After 20 seconds, the air pump turns off itself, so I can conclude that the issues isn't coming out of this part. And up to this point, I'm pretty sure that the catalytic converter has a malfunction. The internal component is no longer filtered nitro oxide efficiently enough, so the catalyst is not working as it should be therefore trigger the trouble code on our scanners and to recap these are things that you need to check when it comes to the catalyst system efficiency on this BMW E46 using the M54 engines and hopefully this video was helpful thanks for watching